what's happening. So here we go for another uh, Super Sunday. So here we go. Um, didn't get a lot of comics this week, but I got the, the main ones, the crucial ones I needed to get. Uh, now, Fear Itself, you guys know I haven't been really digging that line, but Invincible Iron Man still continues to thrive. It, this was just a great read all around. Um, basically, you have Gargoyle, or Grey Gargoyle, turning into one of those, uh, I don't know, things, whatever, going on in Fear, but... Uh, he's basically turned everybody in Paris to stone. Uh, uh, Iron Man gets out there to help. and Basically what's been happening is he's just been crashing into civilians, killing them. And so it's just one of those things that it's just turned out to be a, a big battle. And Iron Man is just getting his ass handed to him. So this is definitely a good read. And this Iron Man line has just been perfect all the way through. So definitely check that out. Uh, Avengers vs. Uh, the Ultimates. This is kind of leads to a whole new direction we finally figured out what's been going on uh, i won't give any spoilers away but this was definitely a great read i love this line x force number 10 here we go for a start of a new arc basically wolverine is uh trying to put out um uh archangel because he's been on a little killing spree um, definitely read pick this up this is a great read x force has just been unstoppable i love that line uh, here we go, Venom number three, another great read. Uh, basically, you finally get to see Spider-Man confront uh, Venom, so it's gonna go, uh, it's gonna go down the next issue. All right, so now we got the Green Lantern. So they came out with all of them this week, seven, eight, and nine. These are all terrific. Uh, like I tell everybody, if you're gonna get into DC, start with Green Lantern because everything is just perfect with this line. I mean, the, the action is brutal, um, the writing is superb. It's just all around just fun. Uh, basically, in one of these, is there's like a... So everyone has got new costumes now. They've put on different rings to try to get away from uh, Parallax and his influence. Um, there's a scene where Jon Stewart actually becomes a Black Lantern at one point. He embraces the power and has to make a, a critical decision. So I won't give that away, but it was good all the way around. I love this line. And, of course, you guys know me, a sucker for variants. I had to get them all. Of course, cover price. You can't go wrong, but these are all Clayton Crane's uh, artwork. Uh, like I said, I, I know his art anywhere. It's just a beautiful artwork. And these covers are so cool. So I had to get them for each one. I like that one. So, once again, super nice. Action Comics, 901. I haven't got a chance to read this one yet, but... I think this might be the last one for the Doomsday. I'm not too sure. And then Batman, uh, Two Face. This was brutal. I mean, Two Face just walks down the street and just shoots people like it's nothing. So this is definitely a good read. I'm kind of glad they're over the whole Azrael line. So definitely get out and get your car. All right. So here goes a newer figure I got. This is a big special thanks to Bug Nice for uh, finding this cat for me. Uh, here's the War Machine the Initiative. This is an absolutely amazing. Uh, figure I really like this thing. Uh, I just think the paint on him is cool The accessories just all around fun factors just off the chain on this cat um, Like I said, he's you know your typical war machine. He's got the big guns uh, the rockets uh, You can see the little green that meshes in with the black. I think that's really cool the tube that connects to his uh, Armor to his guns. I mean all around this thing is cool. Um I kind of agree with Boog, you know, the, the fins on here, kind of weird, but, you know, I overlooked that really fast, but all in all, it's just a top-notch figure. It's got a great um, a diaphragm joint right there, so he can get into some flying poses uh, pretty nice, you know what I'm saying, so it, it's just a really cool figure. The one thing is this right here, it's loose, but when you move the arm in a certain way, it kind of locks it in position, which is really weird. But hey, it works. Uh, this thing is like really cool. Yeah, it's all around solid figure. Hasbro's, uh, you know, like I said, Hasbro can really step it up. You know, when they when they want to. Uh, this is another prime example. They have done tremendous work on their War Machine figure, especially the Iron Man line. You know, they really put a lot of uh, pride in that, which gives you great hope for uh, Legends. You know. All right, so let's see what we got new cooking up here. So. Uh, this is a figure I picked up a couple days ago. Um, I've been sitting on it for a while. You know, I always wait till you know later in the week to open these things up for the video. But this is from the Spider-Man line. This my first Spider-Man figure from uh, the three and three quarter inch line. It'll probably be my last, just because 
uh, not all of them have the articulation like on the Marvel Universe, but the sculpt on this one is amazing. Here goes the Rhino. It almost feels like the Ultimate Rhino. Uh, it doesn't really say what he is from, but uh, super clean. I'm going to pop this thing open in a minute and check it out. But yeah, these ones are kind of, yeah, they just don't have the, the leg articulation. Like I seen the Venom the other day and it has no no knee articulation whatsoever so it's kind of a letdown but this rhino I mean you can't go wrong with the rhino especially looking like this we'll pop that one open uh, another Captain America figure came across the ultimate Captain America a um, little different from the Marvel Universe um, ultimate but still pretty nice looking figure I think the shield is a little bit cheesy but I have replacement shields for that we'll, we'll check them out real quick see what it's all about all right, so we got them opened up. Um, like I said, the shield is uh, really gimmicky, but this is still a really decent uh, Captain America figure. It's got all the articulation, um, pretty good sculpt, uh, paint apps are good. So definitely, it's a pretty it, you know it's a good it's a good buy. Um, just I don't know if you can deal with the the shields, but I got plenty of other extra shields. Um, the Rhino, however, this is a really nice uh, figure doesn't have articulation in the legs I kinda I thought it did just because it was the way it was in the packaging but it doesn't um, kind of a letdown but at the same time it's got a really tremendous sculpt his head goes really far back I mean that was that's impressive how far back it goes look at all that it does like I said pretty good sculpt you can see kind of the look at the, the on the horn all this stuff pretty good um, one of the issues I have is he has these armor things right there which go on his knees and those instantly fell off as soon as I uh, took off these little bands and same thing with these ones these ones are really loose and he's got the shoulder one so it's kind of weird that they did that um, but at the same time not a bad figure it's only what six bucks Fred Myers had a deal going on so I eh, can't pass him up He'll definitely go good with the Marvel Universe. All right, so here's Rhino compared to uh, the other two, you know, big cats in the Marvel Universe. He's still a little bit shorter. He's just really wide. Um, like I said, I think he fits in pretty good. I'm glad they didn't make him taller than Apocalypse or Thanos. Um, I know, he, you know, with the comics, they're all drawn differently, but I always still thought he was a little shorter than everybody. So, like I said, they did a good job with this figure. Even better job with that figure. All right, so now I got to give a special thanks to... Uh, Marvel Maniac 1996 for sending this uh, lizard figure. It's from the Fearsome Foe box set. Very nice figure all around. Great articulation. Um, great paint detail all around him. This thing is really nice. And this was the one I was using <laughs> for my lizard. It's from the Origins line. It's not a bad figure. You know, it just doesn't have the articulation or the super paint detail. Um, but still, this one is just superior. I love the, the face they gave him. It looks really dope. The, the the trench coat or the the lab suit really nice effect it's kind of all shredded up I like this figure this is really nice so once again big thanks to Marvel Maniac 1996 uh, it's a really cool figure all right so here we go for the un underrated figures now this one I don't think it's too underrated but um, it's kind of a hard one to get this is actually from the Spider-Man Classics line this is a uh, toxin. Um, he does go for a penny here and there on eBay or whatever if you can find him. Um, you know, I got this in a trade a while back, like when the community first uh, formed. But yeah, this is just a sick figure. I'm, you know, infatuated with the character. I wish Marvel would bring him back. You know, saying he's just a fun character. His basically story is he was created from, um, you know, the offspring of Carnage. Basically, the, how the story progressed is Carnage just hated the fact that he can reproduce he just hated that you know giving birth so he tried to kill it Venom um, kind of you know got in between it because he just seen it as a, a, a potential threat basically if he joined up with Spider-Man so if you ever get a chance to read the Venom and Carnage storyline it's just all around great and Toxin had a run for a minute but the figure itself is super nice I mean he just you know he fits in great especially with all the symbiotes um, his sculpt on here is amazing. Paint detail is nice. The one thing I do like is these big, massive hands. I mean, he can grip on almost anything. It's just a really cool, fun factor. 
it's gonna fall. It's got great articulation uh, all around. Now most of these Spider-Man classics uh, with the toy biz, they all had toy functions, um, which still, you know, it wasn't bad. It didn't take away too much from the figures, but he doesn't have that toy function. He just, you know, a straight up figure. Uh, it's one of those ones I think you should definitely get if you ever get a chance. Uh, one of the coolest Spider-Man classics. Um, you know, I wish he had uh, mouth articulation. That would have been kind of cool, but all in all, you really can't beat it. It's just a really nice uh, figure. All right, so now here we got the DC Universe Classic, the underrated figure. I think you guys should definitely uh, keep a lookout for if you haven't already got him as a uh, robot man. I just think he's just a solid all-around figure. Uh, his face sculpt is almost spot on to the comics. Now I know he's been drawn differently. You know he was, you know he's either big or he's you know medium sized. You know it's all how you look at it. But the paint on him is really clean. There's no you know blemishes or anything on this nice copper look or bronze. I, I like to call it copper. Um, he's got his uh, little device on his chest. That's you know all around is just a nice figure. He's got a fun factor too. You remove the top of his head, and you can see his brain. I always thought that was really nice. Great sculpt. Um, just all around cool figure. Now, he doesn't go with a lot of setups. I mean, Doom Patrol uh, is pretty much it. I guess if you want to put him next to Negative Man and um, uh, Beast Boy. So I'm wondering if they're going to actually uh, complete that, uh, that team. We'll see. But still, just all around cool figure. Alright people, hope you guys enjoyed Super Sunday, uh, got a lot of stuff I got to take care of today, but make sure you guys definitely make make sure that you subscribe to the Articulated Comic Book Art channel, I'll put the link in the description, definitely check that out because there's a lot of stuff that's going to come through for it, I'm just a huge fan of Articulated Comic Book Art and I just hope it just, you know, just takes off and sky's the limit, so just definitely get in there, have fun, support it. Um, you're going to get a lot of uh, videos real quick about different terminology, the glossaries, and then all of a sudden you'll see videos um, with the artwork and all that. And everything will be exclusive from what I understand. Um, so the stuff that you see in those videos you won't see on channels. Uh, so just definitely check that out and just have fun with it. Alright you guys, till next time. Peace. I like that Iron Man.